I'm going to finish with a story. That this story is a, an old story. It's an old Jewish story. It's even older than me. It's 3,500 years old. Me, I'm in my late 30s. <laughs> I'm 60 this year, but don't worry, I've got a 30-year plan. I still want to be doing this in 30 years' time. Can you imagine how awesome this is going to be when I'm 90? <laughs> and I've actually got the hang of it by then. I'm going to tell you a story. This is an old story, and it goes like this. This, this is my trip to fame. Once there was a little boy, and on the day that he was born, his grandfather made for him a blanket. And he covered him in the blanket and it kept him safe and warm and comfortable. But as little boys are, he started to grow. And he grew until he could walk and he could talk and he dragged that blanket with him wherever he went. But one day his mother looked at the blanket and said, oh, look at that blanket. It's covered all over with stuff. You'll have to get rid of it or do something with it. And the little boy said, but I don't want to get rid of it. I'll take it to my grandpa. He'll know what to do. So I took it to his grandpa who picked up the blanket and he folded it. And he picked up his scissors. And he snipped it. And he snapped it. And he stitched it. And he sewed it. And he said, hey, look. There's, oh, darn. There's just enough material to make for you a coat. And the little boy put on the coat and it kept him safe and warm and comfortable. But as little boy Zari started to grow. And he grew and he grew until he could walk. And, until one day his mother looked at him and said, look at that coat. It's too small for you. You'll have to get rid of it or do something with it. And the little boy said, but I don't want to get rid of it. I'll take it to my grandpa. He'll know what to do. So he took it to his grandpa who folded it, picked up the scissors snipped it, snapped it, stitched it and sewed it and said, hey, look, there's just enough material left to make for you a vest. And the little boy put on the vest and it kept him safe and warm and comfortable, but as little boy Zari started to grow. And he grew and he grew until one day his mother looked at that vest and said, look at that vest. It's too short for you. You'll have to get rid of it or do something with it. And the little boy said... But I don't want to get rid of it. I'll take it to my grandpa. He'll know what to do. So I took it to his grandpa who folded it, picked up the scissors, snipped it, snapped it, stitched it, and sewed it and said, Hey, look, there's just enough material left to make for you a tie. And the little boy was just going to school and the tie went with his school uniform, so he tied it on and he wore it every day. But as you know, ties aren't the best things to wear to school. And one day his mother looked at the tie and said, look at that tie. It's covered all over with stuff. You'll have to get rid of it or do something with it. And the little boy said, but I don't want to get rid of it. I'll take it to my grandpa. He'll know what to do. And he took it to his grandpa who folded it, picked up the scissors snipped it, snapped it, stitched it and sewed it and said, hey, look, there's just enough material left to make for you a handkerchief, a very small handkerchief. (laughs) And the boy took his very small handkerchief and he put it in his pocket with his very small rock collection and he kept it there every day. But after a while, even he had to admit it was worn out. So he took it to his grandpa and he said, hey, Pops, what can you do with it? And the grandpa folded it picked up the scissors, snipped it, snapped it, stitched it and sewed it and said, hey, look, there's just enough material left to make for you a button. And he made it in the shape of a heart because he loved him so much. And the little boy took the button and he put it on his pants to keep his braces up. And everybody said, what a cool looking button that is. But one day it's split in half. And it was gone. And his mother said, hey, look, you've lost your button. And he went, 
oh no, I'll run to my grandpa, he'll know what to do. And he ran to his grandpa and his grandpa said, there's nothing I can do. It's gone. So the next day the little boy went to school and he picked up a piece of paper and he looked at it and he said, hey look, there's just enough material here to make for you all a really good story. But that's not the end of the story. That's just the beginning of the learning. Because what you've got to learn, hang on, is that whilst life seems to take things from you, it teaches you stuff. Every single thing you lose teaches you what's there to gain. And this may look like junk, but it's not. Because here is everything you need to teach your children, particularly your boys, what they need to grow up. You see, there's a pair of legs. Because kids have got to learn how to stand up for themselves. They've got to learn how to make their own journey and they've got to learn how to go their own way. There's a pair of arms. Because every kid needs to know how to lift some heavy weights and how to do some hard work. And they've also got to know how to hug and cuddle and hold. And there's a blanket because everybody's got to be kept safe and warm and comfortable sometime. And there's a pair of scissors because me and smart's not just knowing stuff, it's learning to do stuff with what you learn. And to make things too. And there's a tie. Because everybody's got to get dressed up sometime and create a good impression on someone. And there's a great big smile. Because as you know, as I've just told you, that might be the most important part of you. And there's a good strong nose to help point you in the right direction and help you smell when things are bad. And there's a pair of eyes because we've got to learn to see the world clearly, to see the new. And it's a Jewish story, so there's a yomulcha. <laughs> I think in cap to remind you to always use your brains and always think first. But last of all, but most importantly, there's a heart. Because if you don't put your heart into your, th- into your life, no one can put their heart into you. Now that's a good story. <laughs> 